All right, guys, 10 minute of abs. This is my first workout video. Show me some love, give me some likes. I'm trying to get it to 500 likes on this video. All you need is a timer. So get your timer going and we're gonna go. Now, what I do, first and foremost, is I always start in a plank. Usually it's a high plank. Sometimes I go to a low plank. If you're doing a low plank, keep your hands flat on the ground like this. Look forward, keep your butt nice and tight. Now, the thing with planks, I'm gonna do this for a minute. We're 15 seconds in. The thing with plank, it's not gonna get you the best looking core, all right? But it will get you the strongest core. I can promise you that, all right? So you're just sitting here, and what I do at the end of every workout, or every day, is I don't necessarily write it out unless I'm feeling frisky, but I kind of use this high plank to start thinking about what I'm gonna do. So after this, I'm definitely gonna go to toe taps. So basically I'm gonna flip over to my back, Right when this hits 60 seconds, I flip over to my back, all right? So we got 10 seconds, I'm thinking about it. I'm just holding this plank, all right? Get you nice and strong. In three, two, one, I flipped my back. We're going to the taps. And now, in my head, since I've done this for over 20 years of my life, I kind of know where 60 seconds is gonna be. And so I'm going through the motions. Now the thing with toe taps, right, is not to just touch your shins but to really touch all the way. The last inch matters. Ask anyone or your girlfriend. All right, we've got about 35 seconds left. Touch it. If you can't touch your toes what, when they're straight, because I don't have the best flexibility in my hamstring, so I can't really go all the way, so I bend it a little bit. You could bend your toes, but definitely hit that last inch. And now since I'm already in this position, I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna do next. That's gonna be a little oblique action. And look, we're already, we're already about two minutes in. It's burning. If you're following this along, don't let it stop. You're gonna cross your feet right here, and I'm gonna to touch the bottom of my feet. I'm gonna reach up and touch. You're almost doing like a half plank, or sorry, a half sit up, half like, it's like a half crunch, half like side to side oblique, I guess. I kind of made this up. I think I made it up maybe like seven years ago, but it's such a burner and I love it. All right, 20 seconds in. Now, as you can see with my workouts and probably what you see on Instagram or wherever you've seen me in the past, how you got to here, watch me again, is I don't really stop. I don't like taking too many rests. It just it doesn't make sense to me to rest. I mean, at night I rest. When I need to recover, I rest. When I use big muscles like your quads, or your pecs, I rest. When I'm doing abs, I don't rest. I don't really like to rest. And if I do rest, it's maybe for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, max. And so after this, we're gonna go with the knee taps. All right, three seconds, two, one. Flat on the ground, don't let your feet come up. And all you're gonna do is come up and over and touch your kneecaps. Don't touch your quads, don't touch your toes. You're just touching your kneecaps. All right, you're coming up and over. And I'm just nonstop going. Again, I have no idea what reps I'm at. I'm trying to do as many as I can in the 60 seconds that I have for this exercise. Ah, it's burning. Yes, it's burning. And this is where you wanna to get to. The burning sensation in your core is where your core is gonna get stronger. It's where you're gonna push yourself to get better. Ah, and this is where you grow. Ah, 20 seconds. Ah. Uh, push through it. Oh, I got a cramp. All right, that's right. Shh, shh. Breathe through the cramp. Uh, okay, go on. Back up. Three, back and forth. And go. We're going back and forth. Kind of back to the oblique side to side I was just doing. Half crunch, half oblique side to side. Now it's just on the floor. And this is going to definitely strain your neck. If you've ever played football, lacrosse, any sport where you wear a helmet, hockey, people that have worn a helmet in their previous years playing sports or now have a much stronger neck than the normal people who don't play sports. So this will probably hurt your neck a little bit, but push through it, okay? This is all obliques, all obliques right here. Back and forth. It's fucking burning. You gotta push through it. 
You push through the burn. You push through the burn. I'm gonna do some leg raises after this. I'm feeling leg raises. Now you can do leg raises two, two ways, all right? Now you can put your hands under your butt and just go. And as you know right now, if you're doing this with me, your abs are on fire. And so leg raises are like the hardest thing you could do in the middle of your ab workout. You can put your hands under your butt or like under your tailbone like this, all right? And you'll start to feel, you know, your butt coming a little bit higher in the air. It'll take tension off your back. Or if you're fine with it, just go like this. All right. My knees are slightly bent. I don't make them locked out. But I'm going nonstop reps. How many reps have I done again? I have no fucking clue. But my abs feel amazing. It works for me. My timer shut off. All right. 46 seconds. We're gonna go alternating V-ups after this. Now I'll show you how I do these. Some people like to keep their legs flat on the ground and come up. And some people like to keep their feet in the air. Which is harder, it's kind of up to you. I like to keep my feet down and give my body that full range each time. They're like, why does this guy breathe so heavy and dramatically? Well, you see, the more I breathe, the easier it makes me on my body. Oxygen is flowing through my body. And honestly, it just sounds like it's more extreme if I am really loud. So <laughs> make some noise. Oh, think of what time we got. Oh, keep going. Oh, oh. All right, 52. Uh, we're gonna go legs flat up to this. Uh, uh, all right, right here, all the way. Uh, stretch it out a little bit. Don't let your heels leave the floor, right? It's not really a sit up if you're doing this, but if your point of contact, which is your heels, don't leave the floor, then you'll start to feel a more end up burn. Now, as I'm doing this, I have about two minutes left. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So, we're gonna go Navy SEALs, which I learned at Valley Forge Military Academy, the high school I went to. Shout out to all the coaches over there who taught me some insane ab exercises. These crunches, the ab sit-ups, or the, the, the Navy, Navy SEAL sit-ups suck, but they're fine. And so we're gonna go those, and then we're probably gonna go to the last one, which is wall setups. You guys might have seen, might not have. And at the end, we're gonna do a little giveaway. One, give away some protein from Promix. Maybe give away a Whoop. Maybe give away some cereal. Give away some of the products. I hope you guys will enjoy. Oh, let's go to Navy Seals. Now it's Navy Seals. As you can see, we're going 30 seconds each side. If you're not pushing yourself in every single rep during your ab workout, then your abs aren't gonna get stronger. It's just science. Like there's no shot that they're just gonna get stronger. It's like working out and not sweating. Do you really think you're bettering yourself? Probably not, let's switch sides. So why don't you give it just 150% every single time? Every rep, the form, the movement, the attitude, just give it 100%. Let's go a couple more. One more, one more, one more. Now, last minute, we get Navy SEALs. All right, we're a little past. I get carried away. Now the key with this, right, I made this up as well. Now, I like these because you take away all momentum in your body, complete. It's completely core focused, all right? So hands are gonna be behind your head kind of like this. Feet around some type of wall, right? And all you're gonna do is keep your feet on the wall and your hands crossed 
And you're gonna try to touch your knees. And as you'll see, it's only your core that's really pulling you up. You might have to readjust, but make every rep count. Oh, oh. Cramps are good though. Cramps are good. Cramps are good. Cramps are good. Let's go two more. Oh God. All right, that's 10 minutes of abs. As you see, walked you through it. It's definitely not easy. You can go as little reps or as many reps as you want. Obviously, I'm going as fast and as hard as I can. I would love for you guys to see the same. I would love for you guys to do the same. I can't even talk right now. But it's a great end to the workout. I want to try to get, I want to try to get 500 likes on this video. I know it's not a lot, but it's a lot to me. And it would matter if you guys liked it. It's time for the giveaway. So, all you have to do is subscribe, show me some love, Come on, and go follow my investment vehicle, which is DML Holdings on Instagram, Devin Michael Levesque. We invest in some really cool brands, one being Promix Nutrition, which I am going to give you guys a month's supply of some of our products that are sourced from around the world, the best farms in the world, the best ingredients, and I can promise you that when you intake it, and it doesn't upset your stomach, but just makes you stronger, healthier, and feel good. So, go like, subscribe, follow DML Holdings. Let's go.